When we use hands for interactions in virtual reality or mixed reality, we don't get haptic feedback like we get while using the controllers. So how do we let our users know that their actions like grabbing, poking or pinching have an outcome? Yes, you're right. We can use virtual and audio feedback. In this video, I'll show you how to use visual cues to let your user know that their actions have been registered and it has an outcome. By looking at the length of this video, you can already tell that it's really simple. So let's get started. So here I have my Unity project open, which has been set up with the latest Meta XR all-in-one SDK version 66. And it has also been set up with all the player settings. You can also download this project from the GitHub link in the description below. And here I have my scene, which has a direction light, large room prefab, and a camera rig set up with a tracking space to track the headset, controllers, and hands. It has also been set up with interactions for hands and controllers. So if I open hand interaction on my left hand and right hand, you can see that I have the grab interactor, rain tractor, and poke interactor. The scene also has has a tractable mug, a grabbable stone, a poke interactable button and poke interactable canvas. Now if you want to know how to add the interactors and interactables, we have a dedicated video on that which you can check it out over here. Let's start by adding visual cues to our grab interaction. For that you will have to open the camera rig, go inside interactions, go inside hand interaction, open the left hand and right hand. Inside the hand interactors left, you will be able to find the hand grab interactor. Open the visual and here you will be able to find the hand grab glow game object which you should first enable. Now do the same for the right hand as well. Let's go ahead and enable the hand grab glow. Now this component needs three parameters, the hand visual, hand renderer and mesh editor. Now you can find all these three inside the synthetic left and right hand. So let's open that up. Now here we are looking at the hand grab glow for our left hand. So let's go inside left hand synthetic, select the left hand visual, drag and drop it in here. Select the hand mesh node and drag and drop it inside hand renderer. Select it once again and drag and drop it inside the material editor. Then select the hand grab glow inside your right hand. Scroll down and from the right hand synthetic, we need to take the hand visual drag and drop it here. Select the hand mesh node, drag and drop it inside hand renderer and material editor. And now we can customize the grabbing and hovering colors. So I'm going to select both the hand grab glow for your left hand and right hand. So while grabbing it, I want to show it in green and while hovering, I like to show it blue color maybe. Now you can be really creative and change this. And there are some more parameters that you can change. You can uh, set the glow strength, the fade timings, the speed with which it can go fade out and the gradient length. So this basically determines how much gradient you'd like to have. And here the glow type is currently outlined. You can either have it as fill outline or both. Generally, I like to have it as fill. All right, so let's press play and test this out. And here I have my grabbable cube. Now when I hover over it, you see that the finger turns blue in color, indicating that there's some kind of action happening. And once you pinch it, you see that it turns green, confirming that you have selected the cube. Now you can see that the other fingers are also turning green or blue when you hover over it. I'll show you how you can modify that as well. So let's quickly go back into the Unity editor. And here you can select the grabbable object Select the hand grab interactable and inside the support grab types right now it's pinch and inside the pinch grab rules you can see that all these are optionals. And here if you want to just show the highlight for your index finger you need to ignore the rest of them. And now if we test it out you will see that I'm able to grab and the color is indicated just on the index and thumb and the rest of them do not have the color. All right now let's see how to add visual cues for our rain tractable object. Once again you can go inside the camera rig interactions, hand interactions, left hand, hand interactors left and inside the ray interactor you will be able to find visuals where you have the hand ray pinch glow game object. You can enable this and you can add material editor which you can find inside the synthetic left hand mesh node so you can drag and drop it here and here you can choose a glow color i'm going to select red for now and the glow type can be outlined and now if we press play and test it so here i have my rain tractable mug which i can grab it by pointing towards it and then pinching my hand when i do so you can see that my hand turns red in color however there are two problems that i notice here First is that I don't have to grab the rain tractable object in order for it to turn red. I can pinch it anywhere and you see that it turns red. It's not the behavior that we want. And here once again if I try to grab this cube it does not turn green. It turns red. The second problem is that when you're using ray interaction, generally you're looking at the object and not your hands. So what I would prefer is to have the glow on the object and not on your hands. So let's see how that's done. So first disable the hand ray pinch glow game object. Then select the rain tractable object and create an empty game object. 
call it as glow and in here you need to add the mesh filter and mesh tender component now we need to add the same mesh that you're using over here so let's go ahead and copy this component go back inside glow and paste the component as values here so we have the same mesh now we need to create a new material so that you can see the glow effect and for that in your asset folder you can create a new material call it as re interactable glow now here you will have to assign a shader that generally creates a glow effect but for now i'm going to use the one that comes along with the meta sdk which you can find inside mixed reality and select scene mesh default now here you can add a tint now i'd like to have a blue color tint to it and then you can select the angle effect so you can make it more or less i like to keep it as zero and then you can select the glow game object and add this material over here and here we need to add another component called as material property block editor and here make sure that the renderer has been added next select the game object that has the ray interactable component and in here you need to add a component called as interactable color visual this needs the interactable view which is nothing but the ray interactable it needs the editor which we have added inside glow so you can drag and drop it in here and here you can set the colors for normal state hover state select state and disable state so in normal state we want it to be black which is 000 so that you don't see any outline in hover state uh, you can choose any color that you like and once you select it you will have a different color and if it is disabled it's gray all right so now let's save the scene press play and test this out and now as you can see here when i hover the ray over the object it highlights it in blue color and when i select it it turns green which looks really nice now to add visual cues for poke interaction you can go inside the camera rig interactions left hand or right hand and open the poke interactor inside the visuals we have the poke limiter and the poke hand over should glow by default they would be either enabled if they are not then you can enable it and you can add the references just like how we did with the others and the only thing that you need to do here is inside the glow color right now the alpha value is set to zero you can set the alpha value all the way to 255 and change its color do the same for the right hand as well and then i'd also like to select both of them and change the glow type to fill and the last thing i'd like to change here is to change the overshoot distance from 0.15 to 0.1 all right so now you can save your scene press play and test it out and here you can see that i can press the button but if i try to push it further my hand turns red same thing for the poke interactable canos as well and this works with your left hand also so if i poke it and try to push it further it turns red indicating that it has reached its maximum limit you know what's the best part you can have all the three interactors in your scene and each of the visual cue is independent of the other all right so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one